9. The impunity of unborn minds was hers. Till then, no mournful line had barred this ray. On the frail breast of this precarious earth, since her orbed sight in its breath-fastened house, opening in sympathy with happier stars, where life is not exposed to sorrowful change, remembered beauty, death-claimed lids ignore, and wondered at this world of fragile forms, carried on canvas strips of shimmering time. The impunity of unborn mites was hers. Although she leaned to bear the human load, her walk kept still the measure of the gods. Earth's breath had failed to stain that brilliant glass. Unsmeared with the dust of our mortal atmosphere, it still reflected heaven's spiritual joy. Almost they saw who lived within her light, her playmate in the sempiternal spheres, descended from its unattainable realms, in her attracting advent's luminous wake, white fire dragon bird of endless bliss, drifting with burning wings above her days. Heaven's tranquil shield guarded the missioned child. A glowing orbit was her early term, years like gold raiment of the gods that pass. Her youth sat throned in calm felicity. But joy cannot endure until the end. There is a darkness in terrestrial things that will not suffer long to glad a note. On her, too, closed the inescapable hand. The armed immortal bore the snare of time. One dealt with her who meets the burdened great, a signer of the ordeal and the path, who chooses in this holocaust of the soul death, fall, and sorrow as the spirit's goads, the dubious godhead with his torch of pain lit up the chasm of the unfinished world and called to her to fill with her vast self the abyss. August and pitiless in his calm outlook, heightening the Eternal's dreadful strategy, he measured the difficulty with the might and dug more deep the gulf that all must cross. Assailing her divinest elements, he made her heart kin to the striving human heart and forced her strength to its appointed road. For this she had accepted mortal breath, to wrestle with the shadow she had come, and must confront the riddle of man's birth and life's brief struggle in dumb matter's night.